These 10 spooky bars offer much more than spirits by the glass. At number 10, Turner's Seafood in Salem, Massachusetts. Turner's Seafood is known for its delicious lobster soup, crab cakes, beer-battered fried fish, and french fries. There are many fish shops along the New England coast, but Turner's has a rich history that sets it apart. To begin, the restaurant is located in a historic structure formerly known as the Lyceum Hall. Salem's Lyceum Hall, designed after well-known lecture halls in Europe, hosted readings, debates, and music performances, and, curiously, was the site of Alexander Graham Bell's first public long-distance telephone conversation in 1877. However, the property's rich history includes another side related to one of America's darkest moments. Prior to the construction of Lyceum Hall in the 1840s, the area was a private apple orchard. However, this was no ordinary apple farm. It was owned by Bridget Bishop, the first woman to be hung during the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Bishop was renowned in town for dressing provocatively and engaging into intense fights, which may have caused residents to label her a witch during the trials. Bishop denied the accusation, but her claims of innocence were dismissed. She was charged with witchcraft, convicted, sentenced to death, and hanged. People think Bishop is still haunting the place, and they have seen visions of her ghost in windows and mirrors. The aroma of apples is believed to linger in the air. Number 9. Scarlett O'Hara's in St. Augustine, Florida Contrary to appearances, this site does not contain a lot of southern bells that need to get over Ashley Wilkes, but it does have a love triangle from the 1800s. According to legend, George Coley began construction on the first house on the land for his fiancée, but before he could finish it, she fled with a soldier. Coley eventually fell in love with and married another woman. A few weeks later, Colet's drowned body was discovered in the upstairs bathtub. According to legend, his first fiancée, a jealous, unstable woman, ordered the murder of Coley by her new partner. That floor now houses the Ghost Bar, where Colet purportedly still resides. He frequently harasses men in the restroom and continues to splash around at night, despite the fact that the bathtub has been removed. The staff believes there is at least one more ghost, as he has caused so much havoc in the downstairs bar that ropes have been strung in front of the liquor shelf to keep bottles from tumbling randomly. Number 8. The Walker House in Mineral Point, Wisconsin Mineral Point, Wisconsin is home to the historic Walker House. As with many old constructions, the property has undergone major renovations throughout time. What started as a tiny stone lodge built in the 1860s for a nearby miner has grown into a much larger facility that includes a fine dining restaurant, a luxury inn, and a pub. According to eyewitnesses, several ghosts have been sighted inside the structure. According to rumors, one of these spirits is William Caffey, a murderer who was executed nearby. Thousands of people gathered for a picnic as they witnessed Caffey's public execution and death. In 2009, a group of paranormal investigators hired out the building structure to search for ghosts. Unfortunately, neither the audio nor video equipment were able to capture any ghosts. All that was recorded was the sound of the creek and outside traffic. That didn't stop reports of a haunting from spreading, and the new owners appear to be avoiding the building's ominous reputation. The Walker House now offers several accommodation alternatives, lunch specials, and private event space. The Food Network dubbed the restaurant's beef pasty the finest in the area. Filet mignon, spaghetti primavera, and slow-cooked baby back ribs are also available. Number 7. The Court of Two Sisters in New Orleans, L.A. New Orleans, sometimes referred to as America's most haunted city, is known for hosting voodoo rites and sheltering numerous paranormal phenomena. The Court of Two Sisters is a historic edifice in the heart of the French Quarter with a mysterious past. It was founded in 1726 and named for two sisters who co-owned a shop there in the late 1800s. Visitors to the property have still reported seeing the sisters' ghostly figures sitting side by side on the patio off the dining room. With the story of James Cooper, the previous owner of the building, the legend of this old house becomes even more frightening. According to Ghost City Tours, Cooper's wife was discovered murdered and strangled above the restaurant. Cooper was accused with her murder and appeared in court, but the jury found him innocent, 
Strangely, a short time later, Cooper's body was discovered strangled in a room above the restaurant. Late-night voodoo rituals and a deadly pirate duel are also thought to have occurred in the courtyard. The restaurant's exceptional food, which includes specialties such as Eggs Benedict, delectable gumbo, and shrimp étouffée, more than compensates for the eerie setting. One thing is certain the Court of Two Sisters has you covered whether you're there for the ghosts or the great cuisine. Number 6. Shaker's Cigar Bar in Milwaukee, Wisconsin The most well-known ghosts at Shaker's are two girls from quite different origins. Elizabeth, eight years old, fell from an apple tree on the property in the 1800s and now spends her days giggling in the women's restroom or putting her tiny feet out from beneath the stalls. Molly Brennan, a young sex worker from the 1920s, was murdered in the third-floor penthouse because she knew too much. People who have been in her room have reported seeing water flowing from the ceiling and burning walls, which is far scarier than typical post-drinks hallucinations. Then there is the basement. But actually, you should avoid going down there. Because the shadow people live there, we'll suppose you'd rather avoid encountering one of their spooky, fully formed black bodies. Originally, the property contained a Schlitz facility that produced the barrels used to brew its beer. In the 1920s, Al Capone purchased the building to use as one of his speakeasies. With drinking and gambling on the lower floors and a brothel on the second and third stories, who knows what else happened there? Its current iteration is the latest in a long line of taverns and bars that have occupied the structure. Number 5. The Grill House in Allegan, Michigan The grill house, erected in 1836 and resembling a barn home, has a rustic country style that yet feels welcoming even if it is haunted, as many claim. The grill house is well known for its novel concept, which allows diners to cook various cuts of meat themselves on large griddles. The restaurant's meals are served with an unending variety of sides, including loaded baked potatoes, Texas toast, and salads. However, the grill house is also known for something more darker. According to folklore, a local lumberjack was slain with a knife during a brawl on the land and buried in an unmarked grave outside. The good news is that witnesses claim to have seen the lumberjack's ghost around the property and that he exudes a friendly attitude. Conclusion The Grill House is not only one of the most unique restaurants in the country, but it is also one of the most haunted. After all, where else can you build your own ribeye and possibly meet a ghostly lumberjack? Number 4. Twisted Vine in Darby, Connecticut Twisted Vine is a haunted restaurant that also conducts ghost tours. It is housed in a former bank from the late 1800s. The Twisted Vine organizes a number of creepy activities, including tours of surrounding haunted cemeteries and a psychic fair with tarot readings. But whence did Twisted Vine originate her interest in the paranormal? It turns out that some really frightening things happened here. A devastating flood that rushed over the neighborhood in 1955, killing nearly 100 people, is a nightmare scenario that will definitely haunt us. Furthermore, the rising water uncovered the coffins of dead bodies in a neighboring cemetery, causing them to float to the surface, similar to the horrible and fabled scene at the end of Poltergeist. The bank was one of the few buildings left standing after the flood, thus the basement served as a makeshift morgue as the city rebuilt. We believe it is reasonable to say that the Twisted Vine has earned a few hauntings as a result of the graveyard pool party and the dead bodies that accumulated in the basement. Knowing that swarms of waterlogged human bodies formerly floated in the same approximate area while you ate a nice meal like chicken marsala is strangely morbid. But hey, life can be rather twisted at times. Number 3. Ernestine and Hazel's in Memphis, Tennessee Ernestine and Hazel's is Tennessee's best dive bar and serves the best burger in the country, but it has a convoluted history. The two-story, labyrinthine tavern was first a church, then a pharmacy and has since been a brothel and a jazz cafe. These are enterprises that frequently have a committed following. According to stories, 13 different people died within Ernestine and Hazel's walls, but none of them actually left. When no one is present, the phantom piano upstairs begins to play music. Steps can be heard throughout the day and night. Occasionally, the jukebox may start with a needle drop that appears eerily suitable for the current situation. One employee recounts how she and a co-worker were discussing James Brown when the jukebox began playing I Feel Good out of nowhere. There are apparitions among the population. Both consumers and employees claim to have received phantom touching. Tragic incidents occurred frequently there, 
which is likely why some former customers remained. Today, it appears that the burgers are what keeps customers returning. Number 2. White Horse Tavern in Newport, Rhode Island Let's begin our story with a pair of drifters, like you would with almost any ghost story you heard at sleepaway camp. In the 1720s, two men visited the pub looking for a place to stay the night. The owners found one dead by the fireplace the next morning, and the other completely gone. Now, a ghost chills by the fireplace, daring people to explain his mysterious death. There have also been reports of a man with a colonial appearance in the upstairs bathroom and spooky footsteps everywhere. Surprisingly, another White Horse Tavern in New York City attracts a large number of paranormal aficionados. Dylan Thomas died shortly after drinking too much whiskey at the bar, and he still frequents the same table on occasion, demonstrating that he hasn't learned his lesson. Well, we've made it. Thanks for sticking by right to the end. Here's number one, murials in New Orleans, Louisiana. In a metropolis like New Orleans, ghostly buildings are frequent. Although murials hasn't had the most horrific past, it has witnessed some heinous crimes. Pierre-Antoine Leparty Jourdain bought the abandoned mansion in the late 1800s and restored it. Then, in a classic future ghost move, he lost a poker game where he had risked the entire house. He committed suicide on the second floor near the Chance lounges since he couldn't stand to leave the building. Jordan spends most of his time there, although he rarely appears as a full-fledged apparition such as a shimmering light, he knocks on the brick wall with all the force of one. He's also got company. Another spirit at the courtyard bar most likely enjoys breaking glassware, while paranormal investigators have heard a woman's voice in the seance lounges. After their nightly frightening antics, they undoubtedly eat a lovely supper at Jordan's special table which the staff prepares with bread and wine every night. Well, that's it for now. Which is your favorite place? Drop a comment below.